Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find the shortest distance from the source vertex to every other vertex in our graph and how to find the shortest path from the source vertex to every other vertex in our graph using breadth first search algorithm. Okay, so I have taken a very simple graph for our problem. So we will be running our code on this graph. You can see it is a very simple graph and whether the graph is undirected or directed, it does not matter. The algorithm will work anyways. Okay, so we will be using BFS. So, so far I have int n which is the number of nodes, int edges which is the number of edges and this is my g of 1000, this is my adjacency list. Now this is just uh, any number, so, this is the number of nodes, maximum number of nodes, so don't get confused, this is my adjacency list. And for each number of edges, I am saying x and y are connected as this is undirected, g of x will have y meaning adjacency list of x will have y and adjacency list of y will have x, y because this is undirected. And then I will have a visited array which I'll be keeping track of whether the node has been visited or not. So like I said, we're using breadth first search algorithm. So let's just quickly write the code for that. And before that, we'll be using two arrays. So those array will be D of n. So this will show that shortest distance of each node from source vertex. So D of 2 will give me the shortest distance from source to 2. D of 3 will give me the shortest distance from source to 3. And then I'll have another array, which will be P. Now this will give me the parent, okay? What do I mean by parent? So what is the parent of 2? Suppose I'm coming from 0 to 2 while running my BFS. So parent of 2 will be 0. So basically parent of a node is from where did I go to that node? For example, if I'm going from 0 to 3, so parent of 3 will be 0, okay? So these are the two arrays which I'll be using to find the shortest distance and to find the shortest path. Now, a source vertex, I'll be using 0. You can use it to be anything, but to keep things simple, the source vertex will be 0. So first things first, uh, we'll have to make it visited because we're already processing it. And distance of source vertex will be 0 because from source to source, what's the shortest distance? 0, right? And parent of source vertex will be minus 1. Why? Because there is no parent to the source vertex. We're not coming from source vertex from anything. We're starting from source vertex, okay? And now let's run the BFS. So for that we need a Q. So a Q of integer, we'll name it Q. We'll push our source vertex into it and then we'll run the BFS. So that will be while Q is not empty, keep on running. Okay. So first I'll say int v is equal to Q dot front. So whatever is on the top of the queue, I'll just take it out and I'll go into the adjacent list of that. This is how BFS works, right? So I have 0, I take 0 out and I go into its neighbors, okay. So int v is equal to q dot front and then I'll just say q dot pop because now I'll be removing it from the queue and then I'll be going into its neighbors. So for int u into adjacent list of v, okay. Now, first thing I have to do is I have to check whether it's been visited or not, okay. So if it's not visited, so if not visited of u, then I have to do this. I have to first make it visited. So make visited of u is equal to 1. And I'll be giving this code in the description. You can code it out as the video goes or you can just take it from the description box, okay. So visited of u is equal to 1. Now we have to push it, okay, because now we'll be processing that. So key of push u. Now what do we have to do? I have to say d of u is equal to d of v plus 1, okay? Now this is important. This is important. So what is happening here is, I'm coming from v to u, right? I'm coming from v to u. So whatever the shortest distance is till v, the shortest distance till u will be plus 1 because I'm traveling one unit of distance from v to u. So suppose I'm till 2 and now I'm going to 5. So the distance will be plus 1 because there's only one unit of distance between 2 to 5. So distance of u will be distance of v plus 1. Quite simple, okay? And then I'll say parent of u is equal to v. Why? Because like I said, from v, I'm coming to u. And that's it. That's pretty much our breadth-first search. And then what we have to do? We have to print the distance array to find the shortest distance. So I'll just print it. So print i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, my d of i, see out d of i, okay, and see out and love. Okay, now let's just check whether it works for this graph or not, okay. So let's just let it run, okay, and let's just go on this graph 
and see whether it works correctly or not. Okay. So what are the number of nodes? Six. What are the number of edges? Six. Now what are the edges? Zero to one is connected. Zero to two is connected. Zero to three is connected. Two to four. Two to five. And three to five. Okay. So the distance till zero is zero. Distance till one is one because you can see the shortest distance is zero to one. Zero to two. Zero to three. Now the shortest distance till four is one two. Shortest distance till five is one two. It could have been more because you could have gone like from one two three. But you can see that the shortest distance is two only because it can just go from directly here to here. So this array is giving me the shortest distance of every node from the source node. But our job isn't finished here. We have to do what? We have to find the path as well. Now how are we going to find the path? So we're going to find the path using our parent array. Okay. So we have to find the destin the path till destination. The path till destination. Okay. So we'll have the node dst. So and dst is equal to five. So right now I'm saying the destination is five. So from source to destination, I want to find the shortest path. I already know the shortest distance. Now I need to know the shortest path as well. Okay. So first things first, if visited of dest is equal to is equal to zero, then we have to say no path. Why? Because we haven't from going from source, we haven't reached destination. So there is no path. Okay. But here it's not the case. Just in case it can be like that. Okay. So we're covering that also. But here everything is connected, so we don't need to worry. Okay. Now we have to go to the path. Okay. So First, let's start v is equal to, or let's say x is equal to destination. Okay. Now, how will we find the path? So, I'm here at destination. Now, I need to know from where I reach destination. So, that will be parent of destination. Then, I need to know from where I reach that and that will be the parent of that. And we'll keep on going till we reach source and the parent will be minus 1. So, that means that we keep on going while x is not equal to minus 1, right? And then we'll say path, uh, we'll have a vector which will, we'll have a vector called path which will keep all the nodes in the path. Okay. So while x is not equal to minus 1, what we'll do is we'll say path dot push back x because x is the node and now from where did I reach x? And that will be p of x, right? And then eventually x will become minus 1. And then we have to reverse it because we're starting, we're kind of backtracking, right? We have, we are at destination and we're finding the path back to source. But you want from source to uh, destination. So simply reverse the array. So reverse path dot begin and path dot end. And this vector will have my, this vector will have my path. So point i is equal to zero, i less than path dot size i plus plus c out path of i okay c out end line okay let's put an end line here as well so there's no confusion again let's run the code and see whether it's working or not okay we have to declare this outside okay so let's just declare it here not an issue Okay, so 6, 6, 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 0 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 5, and 3 to 5. Okay, this is my distance array. From 0 to 1 is 1, from 0 to 2 is 1, and so on. Now, I want to find the shortest path from 0 to 5, and that is 0 to 5. And that is correct, because we go from 0, we go from 2, we go to 5, and that distance is what? 2 units. So here the graph was very simple, so we didn't have any issues. But this code, this whole algorithm will work for any complex graph, whether it's directed, whether it's undirected, and however it may be. So this is the code. We simply use BFS to find the shortest distance and the shortest path. And how we did that? By simply keeping a distance array and a parent array to keep track of how much distance we have traveled from the source and to keep track of from where we have come to the current node. So that's all. I'll give a link to the 
to this code in the description you can check it out and if you have any doubts be sure to ask so that's all thank you